The Hoi An Coconut Village is just five kilometers east of the Hoi An ancient town, around 45 kilometers southeast of Da Nang, central Vietnam. The Memories Restaurant will organize today's coconut boat ride as part of the tour package we signed. Our tour bus will park beside the highway and the buggy will take us to the restaurant. The buggy will stop here and then we'll walk to the restaurant. The coconut boat ride will take 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the weather and the activities. We're heading south from the restaurant. Once we reach the end, we will stop for five minutes for the karaoke show and head back to the restaurant. Hoi An Coconut Village, or Cam Than Coconut Village, is a picturesque destination known for its vibrant coconut groves, scenic boat tours, and rich cultural experiences. Nestled in the heart of Hoi An, this village offers visitors a chance to immerse themselves in the natural beauty and traditional way of life. Okay. You guys just fill up the buggy and go inside. Located yeah. in the enchanting town of Hoi An, Hoi An Coconut Village is a must visit, brimming with the lush charm of coconut groves. From tranquil boat rides along the river to exploring traditional crafts, Coconut Village Vietnam promises a memorable experience that captures the essence of this town's cultural heritage. These buggies will take us to the restaurant where we will first have lunch. After that, right. we will ride the famous coconut boat on the canal for about 30 minutes. Hoi An Coconut Village's inhabitants have many crafts to earn a living, such as weaving fishing nets, making basket boats, producing coconut objects, building houses with palm, and harvesting edible bird nests. The last tradition is from the 15th century, and now the know-how about it is passed down by different generations of Tran and Ho clans. A temple for the first harvesters' ancestors' worship is built near the palm forests in the middle of rice paddies. Commemoration ceremonies are held on the 10th day of the third lunar month. Also, having a long history, the craft of making buildings by palm is only in Cam Than. 30 families are continuing it at the moment. Collecting the leaf is in the first and sixth lunar months yearly. Then, 11 stages need to be completed to build a house or restaurant. In the dry season, from February to August, local weather features many sunny hours during the day, followed by a high temperature and low rainfall. Travelers often tour the village and the forest on boats at more excellent times to avoid the midday heat. The best ride is in the early or late hours. During the Vietnamese summer holidays, about April and May, it's also great to be away from crowds and noise. Before hitting the road, bring sun cream, sunglasses, and water to drink. All activities are available during this period, so it's the ideal time. In the rest of the year, from September to January, the temperature decreases and rains occur much more. This allows travelers to enjoy more pleasant air than before, but requires them always to check the weather forecast in advance and bring a rain poncho. The lowest degrees are from November to January, averaging 23 degrees Celsius. Between September and November, tropical typhoons hit the region. As a result, strong winds and gusts, big waves, pouring rains, and floods are frequently seen. This period has the worst weather, so many travelers often don't visit or must research carefully. Because of the confluence of three rivers, many parts of Hoi An Coconut Village are flooded. To ensure visitors' safety, outdoor activities are closed. Notice the roofs of the hall were made from nipa leaves made by the locals. That's the small jetty we will use for the coconut boat later. But first, lunch. We were starving. Anyone else there? Boss? No more? No, no. Okay. no more. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. When visiting the coconut forest Hoi An, travelers can partake in many activities to immerse themselves in nature and explore the local way of life. 
This serene destination offers opportunities to engage in various experiences and gain insights into the lives of the local community. Embarking on a serene coconut forest basket boat ride in Hoi An is a truly romantic and tranquil experience, immersing oneself in the lush greenery of coconut trees. As you gently float along the small waterways of the Thuban River, surrounded by vibrant coconut okay, groves, local guides share the historical stories of the seven hectare coconut forest. This site served as a stronghold for brave soldiers during the resistance war and remains a symbol of patriotism. Along the journey, travelers witness simple countryside scenes, such as white ducks frolicking in the water and fishermen casting their nets. Life peacefully unfolds amidst this idyllic and poetic landscape. Vietnamese water coconut, also known as That Nuc Dua in Vietnamese, is a type of coconut that is commonly consumed in Vietnam and its surrounding countries. The coconut water, Dua Nuc, is often consumed as a thirst quencher, while the flesh can be eaten raw or used in cooking. Coconut is more than just a semi-transparent liquid. This unique white Vietnamese drink tastes very similar to the Vietnamese coconut water. However, it's very different in terms of its shape and form. Also, unlike coconut juice, the water coconut is usually served in plastic cups with heaps of ice. And here is the most important part. What you get is more than semi-transparent liquid. Now let's watch this fisherman cast his nets. You don't see that every day, especially in the big city. Now let's continue with the water coconut info. The white jelly-like wedges are thrown in, as seen in the pictures. The juice is sweet, a bit thicker, and grainier in texture, as if fuller when compared to coconut water. However, the white wedges that float inside are rather tasteless, slightly crunchy and jelly-like in their consistency. Faster, faster! Even though it's called the water coconut, don't expect any coconut-like taste, not even a hint of it. When mixed with ice, the water coconut drink is a healthy alternative to other chemically enhanced, refreshing drinks usually available in local supermarkets. It's a great snack while traveling around the Mekong Delta on a hot, sunny day. Here you can see the boat is primarily made of bamboo. The coconut is typically young, with a green outer shell, and has a thin layer of white flesh and a large quantity of clear, sweet liquid inside. Vietnamese water coconut can be a healthy choice to drink for hydration and nutrition. Coconut water is naturally low in calories, fat, and sugar. It is a good source of electrolytes, including potassium, which can help replenish fluids and electrolytes lost through sweat and physical activity. Coconut water is also rich in antioxidants, which can help to protect the body's cells from damage caused by free radicals. However, it's important to note that coconut water is not a complete source of nutrition and should not be relied upon as the sole source of hydration or nutrients. It is also essential to be mindful of the amount of coconut water you consume, as it can be high in natural sugars, contributing to weight gain if consumed in excess. The water coconut is a mangrove palm tree growing in marshes around the Mekong Delta. Vietnamese farmers use water coconuts for so many things. They use leaves to make roofs for their houses and as firewood. They also extract coconut water from flower stalks to make sugar, brew wine and beer ferment vinegar, and so on. It's a beneficial plant for the locals, and the refreshing drink is just one of the many benefits it brings to people. Basket boats in Hoi An, also known as coracles, are crafted from bamboo and palm leaves using a meticulous process that is truly an art form. Constructing just one of these circular vessels can take several days of skilled labor. The secret to their buoyancy lies in applying a unique mixture of resin and tar, which not only waterproofs the boat, but also shields it from the harsh elements of the water. The history of the basket boat in Hoi An dates back over 2,000 years to the Cham people who settled in the area. Initially designed for fishing in shallow waters, 
The circular shape of these boats allowed fishermen to move around and collect fish from their nets easily. Interestingly, some people said that the Hoi An basket boat was first introduced in Vietnam during the French colonial period to avoid excessive boat ownership taxes. The French believed that a basket boat was not a boat, but a basket, and therefore did not tax the owner of the basket boat. Nowadays, basket boats have become an integral part of Vietnamese fishing culture and are still used by local fishermen in Hoi An. However, they have also become increasingly popular among tourists to explore the area. While it may feel unstable initially, do not be deterred from trying out a basket boat in Hoi An. It is a unique and exciting way to experience the beauty of Hoi An and its surrounding waters. Participating in the basket boat dance is necessary for visitors exploring Hoi An. This exhilarating game is packed with surprises and endless fun for all participants. The skilled boat drivers expertly navigate their vessels, shaking and twirling them precisely to deliver a truly immersive performance that will leave audiences in awe. As the rowers join hands, they create waves of excitement that propel the basket boat to spin faster and faster, providing a thrilling experience for all who witness it. Don't miss out on this unforgettable adventure. When embarking on a journey by basket boat in Hoi An, one can expect the trip to last approximately 45 to 60 minutes. However, the experience doesn't end there. Visitors are often captivated by the stunning scenery and are compelled to explore the seven-acre forest where they can engage in various activities such as fishing, crabbing, and even learning the art of folding coconut leaves. It's no wonder that many choose to linger and soak up all this enchanting destination offers. A basket boat may seem unstable at first glance, but appearances can be deceiving. The unique spherical shape of these boats distributes weight evenly, providing a stable and safe ride. However, to ensure a safe and enjoyable experience when booking a riding basket boat in Hoi An, there are a few essential things to remember. While life jackets are mandatory, they may not always be strictly enforced. However, it is highly recommended that you wear one for safety. Comfortable clothing you don't mind getting wet is a must for this adventure. Additionally, don't forget to protect yourself from the sun by wearing sunscreen and a hat. The weather in Hoi An can be pretty sunny, so taking precautions is essential. Lastly, bringing a waterproof bag to keep your belongings dry is a good idea. In addition to the iconic basket boat in Hoi An, the skilled fishermen have another trick up their sleeves. As we saw a few minutes ago, you'll have the opportunity to experience the art of trawling with a particular fishing net. Don't be discouraged if you don't catch any. This technique takes a lifetime to master. Alternatively, you can try catching crabs or snails along the riverside. <laughs> Here, we can see a short singing performance by a local fisherman. Not sure what the song is about, but the tour guide said it's a Vietnamese folk song. We prefer traditional folk music rather than modern techno style music. Please don't forget to leave some tips for the performer before you leave the area. The boat operator on the left messes around with his fellow lady mate and gets scolded. It looks like they're in good spirits. Now we're heading back to the restaurant. There are many other activities here, such as participating in a Vietnamese cooking class, attending a handicraft workshop, trying paddling a kayak or stand-up paddleboard, going on a bike tour around Cam Than Village, experiencing buffalo riding, and much more. Unfortunately, we were on a tight schedule. <laughs>
Next group, next group. Mấy cái mấy cái mấy cái For those visiting Hoi An Coconut Village for the first time, their first impression will undoubtedly be the vast expanse of coconut forests stretching for hundreds of hectares. Here, you can immerse yourself in the lush greenery of Hoi An and discover a diverse range of flora and fauna. What could be more fascinating than taking a boat ride to enjoy the pristine nature, with fish swimming beneath the coconut groves and storks nesting above? You can also stroll along the narrow paths to fully embrace the fresh atmosphere and learn about the local people's way of life. Besides admiring the beautiful natural scenery, travelers on a coconut boat ride in Hoi An can engage in various exciting activities within the coconut forest. As we said before, one of them is to witness the fishermen's impressive net casting performance, and they may even offer you the chance to trawl a particular fishing net. You can also indulge in delicious local delicacies from freshly caught seafood at the villagers' homes. The sight of humble fishermen casting wide nets and the presence of captured fish and shrimp will leave a profound impression on you. Again, you can also try catching some crabs or snails along the riverside. The Hoi An Coconut Boat Ride is a remarkable experience that allows travelers to delve into the enchanting beauty of Hoi An's coconut forest. From witnessing skillful boat dancing performances to engaging in handicraft making and exploring the local way of life, this unique adventure offers an unforgettable glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of Hoi An. It's a must-try activity that will leave you with cherished memories and a deeper appreciation for the beauty and charm of this remarkable destination. In addition to the captivating Hoi An Coconut Village and its highlight, the Hoi An Coconut Boat Ride offers numerous other must-visit tourist attractions. Plan your perfect Hoi An itinerary with attractions such as Hoi An Ancient Town, Trakwe Vegetable Village, Anbang Beach, Japanese Bridge, Hoi An Night Markets, Kwan Kong Temple, Tankai Old House, My Sun Sanctuary, Cham Islands, Cantonese Assembly Hall, and more. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. I'll see you on the next one.